It's Gamer Girl 875 here, and I know, I know, like today's Friday, and I know the uploads or updates, sorry, updates come out on Thursdays. I'm really bad about that because Thursdays are super busy for me. So if I'm ever gonna do an update video, which I probably will be doing more frequently now, since that's kind of what everybody does, um, it's usually gonna come out on Friday because, like I said, Thursdays are really busy, and I just do not have time to record slash upload edit. A video so anyways uh, I am going to do an update video today so I have not looked at the um, update yet because I wanted to do my reactions on camera and have them be real and stuff so here we go two cans okay well first of all everybody already knew these were gonna come because last update like the first two updates ago we were told that a new animal was coming and then we got this huge hint that um it was gonna be a toucan and then last thursday there actually was one that officially said okay toucans are coming so this is basically just toucans have officially came or they've officially come i'm really bad with grammar today guys wow okay sorry um They've officially come here. There's a Toucan Minio book that absolutely no one is going to do, but we will do anyways in this video just because. So that's that. Oh my! Oh my gosh! Okay. Oh, I am so excited about this. I I didn't know that this was going to happen. I just, like, I just, um, like, got um, off talking with my friend who let slip because I told her not to say anything about the update because I wanted my reactions to be real, but she let slip that there's a new adventure, but I didn't know anything other than that. I am so excited, because for all of you who actually, like, got into the 2D adventures, which I did, because I actually really like adventures. They're really fun. For some reason, I really enjoy them, and there was this whole storyline, like, I am so excited about this, because in the end of the front lines, there's this whole storyline with something about a phantom... I, a phantom fortress or something other and the alphas are really worried and I'm just I am so excited about this I cannot wait to play this um unfortunately I don't have a lot of time today so that won't be in this video I will play that on camera for the first time um I'll probably do it um maybe tomorrow or something and so that'll be in another video but let's read through this the only hope of stopping the dreaded Phantom Fortress is an ancient relic that lies across the Phantom Badlands. Are you brave enough to break through the corruption and face the Phantoms in this all-new 2D adventure for member wolves, arctic wolves, tigers, and arctic foxes? Whoa, okay, I am super psyched about this. I am just... Okay, I know I'm gonna sound like a total geek because not very many people actually like the adventures, but I actually do, and so I'm really looking forward to this. So, continuing. A new den! Oh! Oh! Okay! I have seen so many people just hounding Animal Jam HQ to do this. You asked for it and you got it. Now you can create your own art gallery with this amazing new den. I am totally going to have to buy that. I mean, that is just, that is really cool. People have, I mean, literally everyone has been telling Animal Jam HQ ever since they released the Masterpiece Party that that should be a den and now they've actually done it. Oh, I'm so excited! Have you seen the new and super cute pet llamas that are waiting to be adopted in the diamond shop? Okay, they're actually really cute. I'm probably not going to get one of those, but those are really cute. Um, I know my friend already got one, and she named it Tater Tot. Because, you know, new with new names, you can name your emo black and purple pet llamas Tater Tot. Because, I mean, that's what people do. <laughs> I think it's cool, but... Okay, Animal Jam, why? Just why? Just why? Animal Jam, you release, you re-release Spikes way too often. They, I mean, Spikes have dominated the rarity scale for longer than anyone can remember. I mean, Spikes are your base rares. Like, if you have a rare Spike, you can pretty much get, like, for any number of rare spikes, you can get any other rare item in the game. They're like the base of the rarity scale. Spikes and rare spikes. But Animal Jam just re-releases them way too much. Like the Diamond Shop spike that was in the Diamond Shop when I first started playing Animal Jam about four years ago. And, but foolish me, I didn't really like them that much. I thought they didn't look cool, so I bought studded colors because I like those better. 
But my friends bought spikes, and then they were taken out of the diamond shop and amassed this huge rarity, and I didn't have any. So then, when they re-released the spikes, the diamond shop longs back into the game, I was really excited, because then I just bought a ton, and so, and then they were taken out, and then they actually did, like, amass um, at least a small portion of their rarity that they once had, but then Animal Jam released the diamond shop short spikes in here. And... Those really aren't that rare at all. And now there's these. For this weekend only, these never-before-seen items will be available in the diamond shop. Uh, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, a brand new set of spike collars and spike wristbands. Okay, Animal Jam, you keep coming out with these new varieties. I mean, they were... S spikes are so rare, but you keep re-releasing them, and they're losing all their value. And you just keep making new varieties of the same items. Please, Animal Jam, have a little bit of creativity. <laughs> oh my gosh, the royal outfit. I'm sorry, that is not majestic. That is that is that is, that is hilarious. <laughs> that's awesome. That that's honestly that is awesome. That's hilarious. And there's a new, um, what is that called? Jam sketch? Sketch jam? Yeah, sketch jam. That's what it is. So you can learn to, to draw a toucan. Personally, I don't think any amount of sketch jam videos will help me. I am a terrible artist. I cannot draw. <laughs> and then the last page of the Jama Journal is, as always, a shameless advertisement by Animal Jam because that's what they do. Uh, jammers who sign up for the new Animal Jam box can have all the coolest AJ stuff delivered right to their door. Supplies are limited, so visit AnimalJamBox.com to learn how to get the latest and greatest toys, codes, and other awesome Animal Jam gear. I don't know. That that could be cool, I guess. I don't really know what that is, so totally really not going to do that. I mean, people pour all of their money into Animal Jam memberships, and now Animal Jam is trying to... Well, they've been trying to for years, like, ever since the game came out, like... To get them, spend your money on membership, spend your money on gear, spend your money on Animal Jam boxes. Animal Jam memberships are expensive enough. We don't need to buy Animal Jam boxes. So that was, on the whole, I think one of Animal Jam's better updates. They released a new animal, a new pet. They re-released an old item, which really is was not a good thing to do. Um, they created a new adventure, which is pretty cool. Uh, so on the whole, I just, I think that's, and they created a new armor set. So I think that was actually a pretty good adventure. And now I'm going to go right over here and get this new message in a bottle. I have looked at it already, but I wanted to get the gift and um, share a little bit of my own conspiracy theories um, in this video. So as all of you know, um, all of these message in a, is a, messages in a bottle. Wow, I, why can't I say things today? Have been showing up, and they have various prizes, and I know um, some people have different theories, such as the animal is a toucan, or it's peck, or stuff like that, because first was the haunted portraits, and then all the paint splotch things. And then in the last one, the last message in a bottle, it had a dash at the end. It was cut off. And in the previous, and the one before that, they said oh, they were worried the phantoms might... Um, discover what they were doing, and it looked like they did, because it, this, obviously, with all the phantom goop, was written by a phantom. It says, never mind, don't worry, wow, phantoms have really bad spelling. I guess that's supposed to be, uh, something, I mean, I know it's done on purpose, but I guess it's supposed to be something that makes them evil? I don't know, it's just kind of weird. But basically it says, never mind, don't worry about us, we are okay, and we loaf it here. Okay, first of all, the fact that they said loaf, I just, I cannot believe that. That is, that is amazing. I know, um, my friend hadn't actually looked at this yet, and I sent her a picture of it, and she just started cracking up, because, I mean, they actually said loaf. Now, that is just something that, for me, that is hilarious. I just love that. So, let's see what this gift is, and see if it adds to any conspiracy theories. A phantom portrait. Okay, well, basically, all of that does is add to the phantom goop the purple paper and the purple ink so phantoms have discovered what they were doing whoever it is that's been sending these and this just adds to the fact that 
the Phantoms now know what's going on, and probably no more will be able to sent, be sent by the original sender. So I guess that's pretty cool. Um, now let's go check out some of these things that were in the, um, the update. First off, <laughs> this is so majestic. <laughs> um, and I don't know about any of you, but personally, that reminds me a lot of King George from Hamilton. It just, I don't know, it's just the hair and the crown and the cape. It just, that is King George in horse form. It just is. And yes, yes, I like Hamilton. But aside from that, this looks like some sort of weird solid gold um, dog collar. That is a very, very old hairstyle that looks like it's from, <coughs> sorry, anywhere from the 15 to 1700s in, like, England and France. Um, I guess that's kind of cool. These are okay, and that, I guess, is okay. So that's that, and then let's check out these spikes. Um, okay. I actually saw someone with these on, and I'm just like, wait, what even is that? Before I had checked out the, um, update. And this looks like candy corn. I'm sorry, Animal Jam, but you have created a candy corn spike. You just have. This masterpiece den, the art, art gallery den, masterpiece den, whatever, guys. Okay, we have to preview this, because... If you see right down here, I have 106 diamonds. I am going to buy this when I have 107. So that actually won't be in that long. It could be in a couple of days. It could be in a little while. Um, I don't know. So I'll make a, probably make another video about this, um, buying it and editing it and stuff. But let's preview this just for the sake of this video. Okay, this is actually a really cool den. It's pretty much a identical to the Masterpiece Party where that's held. But this is actually really cool. I like this den. This is nice. I might make my own sort of masterpiece art gallery museum thing, and I don't know. I actually don't have that many art pieces, but once I get more, which, uh, guys, I am collecting them. I think I said this in another video, but yeah, I'm collecting masterpieces, so um, I'm going to try to fill this up, um, just like I'm pretty sure that everyone is going to be doing that. But, so anyways, guys, I hope you liked that video. If you do, please, um, click that like button to show your support. And I am halfway, um, I am halfway to my goal of 10 subscribers. I'm at 5 right now. So, um, if you're new to the channel, please subscribe. That would mean so much to me, um, seeing as I want to reach my goal. And so, um, so yeah, that, um, that's today's video. And, uh, hope you liked it. And jam on!